To add a combo box, simply go to tab developer on the ribbon and then click on insert button. And here in the form controls group, you have the combo box. Click on that and then click and hold with left mouse, left mouse button and then drag like this and then release and here is your combo box you can also change the size of this combo box by click and hold on the dots and resize or right click on it and then click on format control go to tab size and here you can specify the height and width you can also add a combo box with a macro and to do that copy the code from my website and go to tab developer and click on visual basic button and here right click on your workbook and click insert and then on module and this code window appears and paste the code here and the first argument here is the is a uh, the number of points from this line here to the left side of the combo box and the second argument is the number of points from the top to the combo box and the third argument is the width and height so if I change this and then run this macro you can see that it adds a combo box to this worksheet to manually assign a macro to this uh, combo box right click on it and then click assign macro and then select the macro and click OK button or you can use this code and paste it to a module and this will assign the combo box named combo box one and you can see that if I select this one the name box up here shows combo box one and if it is in sheet one on sheet one and this will assign macro one to this combo box and I'm not sure if this will work because I don't have a macro one it did work <laughs> to add values to a combo box you can do that manually with these steps right click on a combo box and then click format control and then go to tab control and here click the input range and then select the cells that contains values you want in your combo box and then click this and this will show the selected value in your combo box and then click OK and now these values here show up and if I select a 
value in the combo box, this the, the value is shown in cell B5. You can use a macro to populate a combo box with, with values. Copy this macro and paste it here. and run it and what you need to do is to change the cell range here so i have values in column g so change this to g1 g3 and now there are now values from this And you can see that the values here, the cell reference here, is here. To delete all values in a combo box, use remove all items. Paste it to your code module and run. And now the combo box is empty. To read the selected value in a combo box using a macro, I first need to select the value and then copy the code paste it and WordPress adds a few characters now and then, so delete these except the ampersand. And there is a missing ampersand there, I believe. And this macro displays a message box with a val selected value and its position. So B is number two and the value is B.